Hey everybody, want to win this Sideswipe Alternators action figure? Sure you do. Check the information section below this video to find out how. See y'all in a bit. Hello, my faithful nerdettes and neckbeards, and welcome again to Spider's Toy Review on youtube.com slash piecrumbs. I'm your host, James, better known as Spider with a Pie, and this week on Pie Chrome Studios, it's prime time. Today, we're looking at Generation 2 Optimus Prime. This is a deluxe class from the Generations line. He's got more of the Peterbilt look going to him, like he has in the newer movies. I can go ahead and tell you I'm not a fan of the vehicle mode, but it may just be my uh, my copy. He doesn't peg together really well. You see he's sitting kind of wompy jawed here. I cannot get these pegs to stay in for the life of me. You push them in and you stare at them funny and they just pop loose. It's like he's just dying to be a robot. So we're going to go ahead and make him be a robot. Start off flipping down the door panels there. This part comes up since it's the problem piece. And it folds together quite nicely. Pop the legs apart. And here where the trailer hitch would be is a sword. Go ahead and get this transformified for robot mode. Chow, chow, chow. The legs are actually quite interesting on this figure. You have little panels here, and those flip around and will give some inner thigh detail to the robot mode. Come on, clip. There we go. The wheels, and this is the interesting part that I, I kind of like. If I can get them to rotate there. They rotate up and plug away into cavities inside the thigh and calf, making for a more sleek appearance. Like that. Fold the feet out. This part is kind of stupid, but it gives him better balance for poses and whatnot, so... We'll leave those up, or out, whatever you want to say. We're going to pull this out. And these shall become his arms and shoulders. Now, I don't think the camera is going to be able to pick this part up. But I'll try and show it anyways. Let's see if I can get in here. No, it's not going to focus. Get some light in there. See if that helps. You see this detailing on the inside of this window pane? Or, uh, yeah. When you flip these pieces in, then yeah, you're not going to be able to see it at all. Not even lighting up this time. Anyways, the detail comes together and forms the old school matrix of leadership inside the chest. And I thought that was a really cool touch. Because he's got the touch and the power. When all hell's breaking loose, he'll be right in the eye of the storm. As this all folds up and slides down into place. And that is G2 Optimus. He has a pretty cool looking robot mode, but he has some problems with posability that really knock him out of being in the in the top of my favorite primes. I mean, don't get me wrong, he still has a very cool look to him. I dig the shoulder pads. And I like the kind of jetpack going on the back, but we've already discussed my love of jetpacks, so we're not going to cover that today. Uh, he's got a ball socket in the neck. 
This arm can rotate pretty freely. So can this one, but uh, the peg here that's used to lock the two fronts of the truck together, it really gets in the way. It bumps into stuff all over the place. And the shoulder pad on this keeps me from getting a whole lot of lift on the arm. And there's no rotate there. Oh, yes, there is. I'm lying to you. I apologize. He's only got a hinge in the elbow. He's got a ball socket wrist, so that's cool. He does have waist rotation, but this piece gets in the way horribly. He's got a ball socket hip and also a top of the thigh rotation. Bendy knee and ball socket ankle that is also on a hinge here. Don't really know that that would do much of anything for you, but it does lend some more posability. All in all, he's a pretty cool figure, but out of the primes that I own, he's he's at the bottom tier, to be perfectly honest. The transformation, while unique, it uh, because of me not being able to get it locked into vehicle mode properly, it really detracts from the overall transformation and the overall value and quality of the figure. The robot mode is really cool, so if you like the design of that, I'd say pick him up. Otherwise, this Optimus is a pass. I bought him because I collect Optimus Primes, and also I really do love the detail of the matrix of leadership in his chest that I can't show you because my camera sucks. That's it for this review, ladies and gentlemen. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you haven't already. Until next time, this has been Spider saying be safe and take it easy. I'm out. Robo Truck coming soon to a theater near you.